Welcome to This Bites For You, my name is Iggy, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Precision X1 on the EVGA GeForce RTX 2060 KO Ultra Card. In this video, I'm not only gonna show you, you know, basically how Precision X1 works as well, I'm going to bring you in a little bit closer so that you can hear the different levels of the fan noise and just how they sound as you're spinning up and the different percentage levels as well. So come check it out. All right, so, I have you maybe 12 inches from video to the fans over here, and I have the microphone probably about three inches away from the video card itself. And I have precision open, so you might hear me a little bit lower than I should be, but again, that's because I'm trying to show you the sounds of the video card as well. Camera position is perfect. Uh, with the microphone as well. So on the main screen of Precision X1 over here, we have the memory slider so that we can overclock the memory. We have the GPU clock and voltage slider so that we can overclock the GPU and the target that shows the power given to the GPU and the GPU temperature. Uh, this is not the current temperature. This is the current temperature right over here. And I have GPU Z opened up right next to it. We can see the temperature just right here, okay? So coming back over here to precision, now right over here, it shows you what the fans are currently at. Here it shows you the entire GPU, and if you saw, when I have the memory highlighted here, it shows you on the screen what the where the memory is. GPU shows you where the GPU is, and the target shows you the VRMs. So coming over, clicking on this right arrow, here we can see the temp tuner. Now this one took me a little bit to figure out, but this is, so right now it's about 2045 or around there. So when it reaches this frequency and this temperature, it's going to start down clocking itself from this speed up here down to 1750 megahertz and then all the way down to 13. So you can play around with this so that that way your clock speeds are a little bit better when you come over to this one. Now this is the part that we're gonna focus on a little bit more in a minute, but right over here you can set your fan curves, you can turn on your fan curves, how quickly the update period comes by, your temperature hysteresis, so that within five degrees of where the temperature threshold is, that's going to kick in, and then some presets as well, aggressive, quiet, and stealth, and we can set a, a GPU overclock curve here so we can set a scan and then setting that scan that's going to automatically start overclocking the video card and then you see that little those little green dots just jumped up this is where it was before this will take about 20 minutes so you know just be patient there you're hearing the fans rev up as it's doing its automatic overclocking there Okay, and then coming over here, we can see the temp color and the frame target. The frame target is, we can set a frame rate, rate limit here. Let's say we want to set that frame limit to 120 frames per second. Now, what that's going to do is while you're playing games, let's say, you know, you're at 120 frames per second, and as you're doing things, it'll drop down to 100. It's going to ramp itself back up to 120 frames per second by lowering some of the details in the game and all that other stuff just to stick to that frame rate. So I'm gonna go ahead, just disable that there. And then, you know, clicking right again, we're back at the very beginning. That's under the VGA tab. Now, moving over to the hardware monitor tab or HWM, we can see in real time what the GPU clock is at, the memory, GPU temperature, memory utilization, and frame rate over here. Now, if we don't want to see this, or we don't want this to be monitoring, we can turn it on here, then you're seeing everything monitoring. You see as everything moves slowly but surely. Now, if we want to stop that, we don't want it to monitor anymore. We just uncheck that, and then it's not moving anymore. I can just hover my mouse over here. You're not gonna see anything move. Uh, here we can enable the OSD or the on-screen display of your, you know, all these stats over here. LED sync, that way you can sync your LEDs and your boost clock as well over here. Okay, then all these over here, those are different profiles that you'll set 
as let's say as you overclock you want to save that profile you just click here and it's on profile zero we can apply that and then we can save it right there and then whenever we want to load a different profile we just select the profile and click load right over here you have 10 different profiles zero counts as one so one all the way down to nine which is ten set up right over here here we can start precision up with windows start it minimized apply your previous settings on load smash screen check for updates capture hotkey screen capture format or screenshot format different profiles you might set over here the interface your monitoring, your OSD, and then back to over here. So there's not a ton of options on this side. So coming back to VGA and coming back to your fan speeds, let's go ahead and cancel this. So that's gonna go ahead and let me put that back to defaults. That's gonna go ahead and stop that overclock and put the fans and everything back to what it was before. This will drop down to about 35 degrees or so. And okay, so it says fail because I canceled it. But if you do a scan, it's going to find its save point and then it'll put past there automatically. Okay, coming back over to, whoops, to fan curve. So I'm gonna go ahead and enable that. These are the default fan curves. Now, setting fan curves for me and for many of my viewers is very important because GPUs can get hot, even if it's stock, it can get pretty hot on any video card. And now mind you, this being the Nvidia side, there are many different applications you can use, being that this is an EVGA card. I prefer to use EVGA's own utilities for it. So as it goes at 40 degrees, the fan is going to rev up to 40%, and then we can raise it over here. Let's say 50, and we'll click apply. And I just want you to hear how loud it is right now at 40. I haven't clicked applied yet. Okay, now mind you, some of that is coming from the Arctic Freezer 2 360, from the rear fan and from the power supply, so it's not all the video card. Even though you do see that the fan spinning up, they're not going very fast. So I can put my finger there very lightly. Don't just jam your finger right in there. That'll hurt. All right, so now I'm gonna click apply on that 50%. Now you might have heard it go up just a little tiny bit, not a whole lot. All right, now I'm gonna bump it up to 60. So to bump it up, I just click on this little white square and just raise that there. Oops, I need to raise this one. Okay, and now I click apply. So it's going to go at 60%. All right, so you started hearing that go up a little bit more. Let's raise it up to 70. Just gonna raise this up all the way so that we don't have to keep adjusting it. So raise that up to 70, click apply. That's a pretty big difference from 60 to 70. All right, so let's go ahead and bump that up to 80. Now, because we don't have the side panel on, this is blowing out of the side as well, not just out of the back. So I'm about four feet away from the computer and I actually feel 
at 80, I feel that wind hitting me. That's pretty powerful. Okay, now I'm going to raise it up to 90. Okay, so you hear it at 90. Now I'm going to raise it up to 100%. The fan spinning as much as they can. So that's at a hundred percent. Now, for some people that are incredibly sensitive to sound and noise, that might bother them. For me, not so much because I play with my headphones. Coming over to the sensors here. We can see we're at 3,105 RPM, fan speed at 100% here. Okay, coming back over here, let me go ahead and put the fan speed back down so you can hear me. Alright, so I just hit default and that put everything back to the way it was before, as default would always do. You're going to see a lot more from me on this particular card in the full review, so stay tuned on that. This is the KO, the 2060 KO Ultra. There's not much you can really do to overclock it, at least, you know, software-wise, maybe hardware modifications and such. But I do have GPU-Z open here as well, so I'm just going to raise this, uh, let's say 10 and click apply. You might not notice it too much here because everything is just jumping up and down here, but you'll notice under memory, it's gone up three megahertz because we are overclocking the memory. Let's do another 20 there or another 10 there. Okay, and you saw that jump another two, so five in total. This over here is not megahertz. These are offset numbers. And then for GPU overclock, now this is going to overclock over here and it should over here as well. So I'm just going to throw in 10. Okay, you saw that jump up to from 365, the default clock speed to 1375. And you see on boost going from 1755 to 1765. The power target, you can see the slider is all the way, even if we typed in 120, it's not going to put in there 120. Now, for example, on my 2080, you can see that the slider is down and we have some room there to wiggle around, but on the 2060, we don't. And then over here, we have the GPU temperature as well. This is not the current active temperature though. This is the current active temperature as we can also see right over here. And then to bring everything back to defaults in case you overclocked too high or something, We'll click default here, okay, and we're back to defaults. Now, you might have noticed there are no LEDs on this card. There's no lighting whatsoever, so I don't have any kind of lighting controls here. So, unfortunately, I can't show you that aspect here on Precision X1. On the 2080, you can see that you would have that tab as well as the ability to change that. Again, this is Iggy and I wanted to show you how to use and how Precision X1 looked like on the GeForce RTX 2060 KO Ultra. And then one of the main reasons I wanted to show you this is to show you how loud the GPU is and how loud it can get. Mind you, not the GPU, but the fans on the GPU. And just in case, in case you wanted to check out in this video here, I show you the unboxing of the video card and then I show you just below that how to install this video card in case you're curious on that. So if you want to stay up to date on technology stuff, you want a bunch of build guides, how to build computers, how to upgrade, how to do just about anything PC wise, stay tuned here to this by Triu. I'm always trying to bring you bigger and better. Iggy out. See you guys.